The big day has finally arrived. Hello guys and welcome here to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Today we bring you the Indian the NCN Indianapolis 500. Hello guys and welcome here. I'm Brian James up here in the booth and I'm proud to bring you coverage of today's race. Um, if you've been following the whole week, it's been quite entertaining. Um, if you saw la uh, final practice, um, man, a lot of crashes, a lot of high speeds. We saw them hit 220. I don't know if that'll happen today. We'll show you the forecast in just a little bit. But, man, a highly intense week. And it's just, it all ends today. A whole week's effort. And these guys will finally get a chance to run for the first ever NCN Indianapolis 500. Team Matman, if you missed uh, Fast 9, he is going to start on the pole today. On his outside for AJ Foyt Racing, that is Dylan Young. Third is Zach Buchanan. Fourth, Eric Cardona. Fifth is Nathan Baden. Sixth, A.L.P. Evans. 7th is Eric Monaco, 8th is Alexander Rowe, Ninth is Isaiah Monaco, and in 10th we have Zach Fitzwater Sr. rounding it out. Will we see a big team, a Team Penske, pull off the victory? They're famous for pulling off wins at this track. Will we see a Chip Ganassi? Will we see an underdog? Will Ed Carpenter finally get his name in victory lane here in Indianapolis? So many stories, so many questions. We are going to be right back in just a short second. We're going to show you your starting lineup but first. And first, before we do that, we would like to send it to PA announcer, to the PA announcer, as we will get the singing of Back Home Again in Indiana. And we will show you the starting lineup. And then we will come back here for the command in just a few seconds. We'll be right back. And there's the command. Welcome back. You've already seen the starting lineup for the Indianapolis 500. We will watch these guys roll. 33 of the world's greatest drivers had it out. They make it clean. Once again, in case you missed it, here is your starting lineup. Right now it is 66 degrees out here. Anyway, there is your starting lineup once again. Rounding out the field today is Jonathan Reigns, unfortunately. 
a tough qualifying effort. He did finish in the top five in practice, so he could be one to watch as he will try to work his way up through the field. Once again, um, for happy hour, the clouds were out today. It's sunny, and it's 66 with the wind at 11 miles an hour, I believe, out of the south today. These guys make their way through turn three. The anticipation is building. 30 laps. We will have pit stops in this race, too, I would like to add. We saw wreck fests in practice. And in the qualifying sessions. I surely hope we do not see the same today. As the pace car will peel off. The crowd on their feet... <laughs> Team Matman, Dylan Young, and the rest of the 31 drivers lead us to the green. The Indianapolis 500 is underway. Oh, they wreck. Nathan Faden. Huge wreck on the front stretch. Nathan Faden, I believe that was three. No, the three survived it. It was the 22. Alexander Rowe involved in that one, too. Someone's up ahead right against the wall having issues. Tim Randolph, he is going to have some significant damage on that car. We didn't even make it a lap. And they already started wrecking. Let's take you to see what happened. It's three wide on the opening lap. And it just doesn't work. The two of them go airborne. Alexander Rowe and Ethan Baden, their days are over here. And I believe that Zach Fitzwater involved Eric Cardona and a ton of others. Ryan Bolden, I believe that is up ahead too. And then just look, the whole track is getting blocked by this wreck. There's Tim Randall. Is that Richard Johnson down there? No, that's the 15 Luis Hernandez in there. Austin LaPlante, Brian James. Handful of guys did not survive this wreck. Alex Rowe didn't even make it back to the line to complete lap one. Ben Crouch, too. Aofi Evans. Eric Cardona, a ton of guys involved in this wreck. We're going to get the field sorted out, and we will bring you back to the green right after this. You're watching the Indy 500 on NCN. Race Control has given the one to go. Team Matt Man will lead us back to the green. Uh, Zach Buchanan made a pit stop. He will restart the race in the top ten still, I believe. Here are the guys out of the race. Ryan Bolden, Richard Johnson... Max Anderson, Nathan Faden, Eli Bright, and Alexander Rowe all will not finish the race today. That's a tough break for them, unfortunately. Team Matman will restart the race in the lead. Second will be Eric Monaco. Third, Dylan Young. Fourth, Joshua Scully. And fifth is Tim Horton. He has made his way up to the front already. DJ Curtis in 6th, Patrick Smith in 7th, Isaiah Monaco 8th, Jonathan Reigns in ninth, and Zach Buchanan has pitted. He will restart it in 10th. Pace car is off. Team Matman 
will lead us back to the green as we hope to stay green for more than a lap. And we're green. Another great restart for the 21. I don't know, this might be short-lived though. Because you need the draft to survive here. And a hat's off to the crew working on the ground. They did an excellent job cleaning up the track so we could go back racing. You can see it back there. Dylan Young is battling for second. It's going to be a three-wide battle. I believe nope, and Tim Horton thinks wisely of it. Waits for the 14 to clear. Yeah, Tim Horton has had an eventful week. He has not been very quick. He's showing speed right now when it matters. And I'm going to read his comment because this was my favorite comment of the week probably. My mother is running better lap times than me. His mother's not even in the race. Just in. You could tell that was sheer disappointment in his team. Oh, they go again. Patrick Smith. Up into the wall. Oh, no, someone lost a wheel. Isaiah Monaco. Eric Cardona involved in another wreck. He lost a wheel on that one. Zach Fitzwater. Eric Monaco. Lots of guys done after this wreck, too. Team Matman still the leader. DJ Curtis has worked his way up to second. And how about Richard Kinghart? He was the slowest in final practice. He has worked his way up to sixth. That Chip Ganassi team working pretty hard today. And we will see if they're going to make any pit stops first before we go show you a replay. But now a second Ed Carpenter racing car taken out of the race. And that leaves Team Matman the only one of Ed Carpenter's team cars, or Team Ed Carpenter's rides left. They're going to make the pit stops, and I believe the 8, Richard Kinghart, he is going to stay out. The guys who pitted last time will stay out to take the lead and the control of this race. Team Matman, your pole sitter, on his way in. You can see they pull in. They just splash it with fuel. A fuel only stop. Look at the rest of the guys who pitted. And let's go see what happened. You can tell here there's just no crap given here in this race. Patrick Smith hard into the inside wall. That's going to sting for them. Luis Hernandez involved, and I believe that's Caitlin Sang up ahead. Eric Cardona there. He's going to lose a wheel on the track. And there's the 18, Zach Fitzwater. I believe he's the one who hit Eric Cardona, if I'm not mistaken. Eric Monaco involved. His day is over. Lots of big names taken out in this wreck. We will take you back to the green here on NCN. My apologies, I did not see the green flag wave. But here we go, we're back underway. Actually, LaPlante is in the lead. I did not see the pace lights off, so I sincerely apologize for that mishap. Zach Buchanan up to second. Ashley LaPlante in the lead this time by. 
Let's take a look at all the guys out of the race. That list is just growing. 23 of the 33 competitors left. Zach Buchanan to the lead. And that's a familiar sight out in front of the Indy 500. The three team for Zach Buchanan. Usually it's Elio Castroneves. And the caution is back out. Tyson Gifford, Dave James, and I believe that's Eric Monaco. We've got nothing but a wreck fest today. We'll see if these guys pit now. And let's look at your fastest laps of the day so far. Two of DJ Curtis currently holds the fastest lap at 216.435 miles an hour. Dylan Young, just shortly behind, he is number two on the boards, but he is seventh. So some nice fast laps here. And yes, we will see some pit stops. 63 back there. Brandon Crasta, he will make his way under the pit lane. So will Zach Buchanan. That will hand the lead over to Richard Kinghart. As let's go see what happened. These guys really need to learn to lift exiting the corner. Brian James just squeezes the 19 and just Dave James nowhere to go. He gets tangled up. So does 15 of Luis Hernandez. Or no wait, that's the 9 of Eric Monaco. Luis Hernandez was involved in the wreck too. Man, these guys just not racing smart whatsoever. We'll take you back to the green. So the three involved in that wreck. Tyson Gifford, Dave James, Eric Monaco, all out of the race now. Your leader, Richard Kinghart, at the moment. Ashley LaPlante, number two. Bruno De Barros is third. Fourth, DJ Curtis. Fifth, Dylan Young. In sixth, we got Tim Horton. Seventh, Joshua Scully. Eighth, Jonathan Reigns. Ninth is Team Matman, pole sitter. And in tenth is David Diaz. As we get ready to get going once again. I keep my eyes on that number two. He may make a move. Um, Zach Buchanan is restarting the race at the end of the lead lap, or at the end of all the cars left in the race. We'll see if he can make a move here. These guys might have to make one more pit stop as well. We will see. As Richard Kinghart leads us back, and we are back underway. There goes Ashley LaPlante. She looks for the lead. She's going to take it. Back there, they're getting pretty jumpy again. Bruno De Barros all over the eight. He's going to pass. Tim Horton now all over the 67. DJ Curtis to the lead. I said it. Watch the two. He's going to make a move. And sure enough, he did. Here comes Tim Horton. Jonathan Reigns is in that mix, too. Oh, I don't like the looks of this at all. They managed to settle it. DJ Curtis continues to lead.
Here comes Dylan Young up through the middle. So does Team Matman on the bottom line. Dylan Young is not going to let Team Matt Man buy. Well, maybe he will. Yeah, I think they realize all the stupid wrecks that have occurred in this race. And they don't want the same thing to happen. Brendan Cresta has lost the draft. Ooh, Team Matt Man getting aggressive here. And they wreck behind. Richard Kinghart involved in this, and I believe that'll end. Oh, yes, that is definitely going to end their day. Caitlin Sang up into the fence. Lost a part of the wing. Ashley LaPlante taking out two solos. Tim Horton. Ten laps to go. They are racing back to the line. Dylan Young will be in second on the restart. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Zach Buchanan also survives the madness and will continue. Oh no, wait, there is still one Chip Ganassi car left in the race, and that is the 42 of yours truly. And there is Richard Kinghart. His engine just died, it looks like. Yeah, his day is over. That's a tough break. This team did a great job today leading the race. And just, they stayed in it up till that last wreck. But I want to highlight who's in seventh right now, as we might see some final pit stops here. 33, Eric Faden. He was your Daytona 500 winner over on the cup side the past season. He is looking to do the improbable now. And he's in seventh. He is in a position to win the Indy 500 and get the second crown. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Let's go see what happened. Wow, no lesson learned still. The two Schmidt-Peterson guys get together. Dylan Young finds his way through it. So does Team Matt, man. Those two will stay alive. But man, up into the fence goes the 28. And Richard Kinghart could have escaped this if it wasn't for the 28 or 24 of Tim Randolph. Just got a piece of it. Caitlin Sang, Dylan Young's teammate. Loses a wheel. She goes up into the fence. Her day is over. And that is a tough break for them. Let us take you back to the green. Here we go. Ready for the restart. DJ Curtis, Dylan Young. Team Matt Man, Bruno De Barros, Zach Buchanan, your top five. Brian James, Eric Faden, Jonathan Raines, Brandon Krasta, AOP Evans. Round out your top ten. We're back underway. It's just going to be a survival of the fittest race. This is probably our last restart with five to go. I can imagine if we get another caution, this will end the race. Here we go. The DJ Curse got a good restart, but it might be too good. He is now going to get swarmed by these guys. His teammate is coming to his defense, but I can imagine it is not going to be for a defensive move. He is going to be battling that number two for the win. Same for Dylan Young. He's been in this race all day. He's been a force to be reckoned with. He's not led yet, but he could eventually. Four to go. Here we go, Team Penske 1-2. And here we go, battle for the lead. It's on. 
Zach Buchanan is going to take the lead away. Brendan Krasta is now in the race once again. He could be one to watch in the closing stages. Here goes Dylan Young. AJ Foyt racing. And Dylan Young battling for the lead. And he won't get it this time. If he can get a good exit, and he doesn't, unfortunately, but he will clear the number two. Here comes Brandon Krasta. He wants a piece of this action. Lost the draft in the last run. Two to go. And it's a four-man race. DJ Curtis looks for second. He's going to get it. Ooh, Brandon crashed in the wall. Dylan Young looked for a draft. He couldn't get it. White flag is out. One more to go. And they will finish this race under green. The two Penske boys, mano a mano, on the final lap. DJ Curtis looks for the lead. He's got to run. Down the back stretch. One last time. Can Zach Buchanan hang on? No, it's going to be DJ Curtis taking the lead. And out of turn four, I don't think Zach Buchanan's going to have anything to say about it. He hits the wall. DJ Curtis is going to win the NCN Indy 500. Zach Buchanan will have to settle for a podium finish in second. So will Dylan Young in third. And Team Penske shows their stripes once again at the Indianapolis 500. And the first one on the NCN side for the Indy 500. Congratulations, DJ Curtis. He survives the wreck fest. Let's take a look at those results. Once again, it's DJ Curtis, Zach Buchanan, Dylan Young on the podium today. Then you got Team Matman, Bruno De Barros, Brian James, Ben Crouch, David Diaz, Eric Faden, and Yofi Evans in 10th. As now the race is complete. 11th is Joshua Scully, 12th Brandon Crasta, 13th Jonathan Reigns. Austin LaPlante goes a lap down, but he will finish in the 14th position. As you look at the rest of the cars that didn't survive what has been a wreck fest of an Indy 500, there's the rest of the results. We want to thank you for signing up for the Indy 500 Jello Cup signups are later on. We hope to see you for the Jello Cup series this season, as it will be the final season of Jello Cup. And I hope I can bring this race to you again in the, in the future. Anyway, this is Brian James. I want to sign off now, and we will see you for Cup signups in just a little bit.